everybody and welcome to Music with Meg. I'm Meg and this week we're learning all about chords. Everybody follow me, it's Music with Meg. To help us learn about chords, we're going to use my piano. If you take a closer look at the piano, you can see that the piano is made up of repeated patterns of eight notes. Let's have a look at one of these patterns. Now let's imagine that the notes on the piano are numbered one to eight. This is called an octave. Why is it called an octave? Well, an octopus has eight legs, an octagon has eight sides and an octave has eight notes. Let's count the notes together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A chord is a word we use for when more than one note is played at the same time. There are lots of different types of chords but today, we're going to look at the four most common chords. These are major, minor, dominant seventh, and diminished seventh. The first chord we're going to look at is a major chord. A major chord sounds like this. Major chords use the notes one, three, and five. You know if you're hearing a major chord because they tend to sound happy. Can you pull a happy face while we listen to a happy major chord? Now see if you can hear the difference when I play a minor chord. A minor chord also uses notes one, three, and five, but note three is moved down a semitone. Now we're going to talk about semitones in a different video, but for now just take a look at the piano. My finger moves from the white key to the black key next to it for a minor chord. Now have a listen to the difference. Happy major! Sad minor, happy major, sad minor, happy, sad. Now for dominant seventh chords. Now a dominant seventh chord is a major chord, one, three and five, but it's got another note added on top. Can you guess what note is added onto a dominant seventh chord? It's note number seven. You can tell you're listening to a dominant seventh chord because it sounds jazzy. Dominant sevenths are used in lots of jazz and blues music. So let's hear our happy major, our sad minor, and our jazzy dominant seventh. Now the final chord we're learning today is the diminished seventh chord. Now have a listen to this chord. Uh-oh. The diminished seventh chord is what I like to call the scary chord. Uh-oh. So, you've got your happy major, your sad minor, your jazzy dominant seventh, and your scary diminished seventh. Uh-oh. Let's recap what we learnt today. We learnt four different chords. Can you remember what they were called? Happy, major, sad, minor, jazzy, dominant seventh, and scary, diminished seventh. 
Anne. We learnt that an octave has eight notes in it. This week, have a listen to different music and see if you can hear the four different chords. Now I want to hear from you. What would you like to see in next week's video? Ask a grown-up to let me know on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. The links will be in the bio down below. Now thank you so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you know when my video comes next week. But for now, have a lovely week and I'll see you next time. Bye!